how to change camera perspective with Google Nano Banana. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can change camera perspectives using Google's Nano Banana AI. Now, Nano Banana AI has quite a frenzy because of the way that it is able to quickly create images and edit images. And it has truly become one of my favorites for image editing because it is so quick and easy to use. It is a natural language model, so you can just describe what you want to edit and you will have it ready. So whether it's a camera angle, an outfit color, or a background that you want to change, Nano Banana has your back. Now there are two ways in which you can actually use Nano Banana. Starting off, you can either get started on nanobanana.ai. However, if you're going to be using it directly from here, you're actually going to have to purchase credits. However, if you're actually using it on Google's Gemini, which is their AI model, and you go into tools, select create images, which uses the nano banana AI model. You're going to be able to create images and edit your images completely for free. I don't know for how long this feature is going to be available for free on Gemini, but currently it is free. So all of you guys can use it. So I'm going to be using this on Gemini. And if you don't have a Gemini account, if you have a Google account, you just sign in on your Google account and then you will have your Gemini account. Now, after that, you can click on the plus icon over here. Click on upload files and then upload the file where you want to change the image perspective. So I'm just going to be uploading a file over here. I'm just going to go with any of our random files and I'm just going to open this image up. Now this is an image of a woman that is drinking coffee. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds, open this image in a new tab. So this is the image. Let's say I want to change the image and make it from the perspective of this barista over here. So I'm going to go back ahead and then I'm going to ask it to change the camera perspective to be from the barista in the background. From here, it's going to proceed with editing. Now you can ask it for a top-down view. If I want a front view or side view, you can also describe certain angles. If you want a 45 degree tilt, if you want any type of specific camera shot in mind, you can do that as well. So now it's from the perspective of a barista like so. However, if I want to further edit this, I'm going to go into a new chat instead for this one. I'm going to be using the same image and I'm going to ask it to convert this into like a CCTV footage. So I'm just going to upload the same image if I can find the exact same one. And then I'm going to ask it to change camera perspective to a top down cctv like view perspective into a top down a cctv type view and just like so i'm going to wait a couple of seconds for our brand new image to be generated and once our image is generated we will be able to see what exactly it looks like so you guys can see now it looks like a cctv view now if i want to further edit this maybe i want a outside view change the camera perspective where it to the outside of the coffee shop looking in and now it's going to be able to change my camera perspective where it looks like someone from the outside is looking into the coffee shop. Now, a lot of people might say, hey, what exactly is the purpose of using these types of camera shots? And, you know, how is this even going to be helpful for me? Well, when you're trying to animate images, this is actually a really helpful technique. So you're easily able to animate and edit your images with the help of this type of tool. And if you're trying to build some really beautiful slideshows or uh, presentations, having different perspectives can really enhance the overall appearance of your slideshows and of whatever type of images that you are creating. So just like so, we have created some of these different perspectives. However, it's time that I show you some of the other amazing features of Nano Banana because it is not limited to just changing the perspective. Now, Nano Banana is able to generate full-fledged images. I asked it to create a beautiful scene of a sunset and a house. Then I asked it to place two people walking and it placed those. Now, instead of shifting the perspective of the camera of the uh, woman in the coffee shop, I actually asked it to replace the woman the way that she's looking away from the camera to where she's looking at the camera and she's smiling. 
and this is the image that it created. The image is very accurate to the original photo and it's a really perfect edit. Honestly, I even think that you could even use this for your own images because sometimes when you look at a really good photo and then you're looking a bit off or you're not looking straight at the camera, you can easily fix up all of those mistakes using this editor. Now, after that, we even asked it to remove the barista in the background and it removed the barista as well. This is just one use case. Now, if you want to see some other really amazing features of Nano Banana, this actually is another example of different perspectives. So this is a man standing on a rooftop and then we changed the camera perspective to be from the front of the man. Then we had this image of a model and I wanted to place her on a runway. We had this cosmetic image and this is again a really useful and highly beneficial use case where you can take any product photo and convert it into a professional studio photo. And then I even asked it to remove the swatch in the background and to place the product vertically and it was able to accurately do so with clean edges and a beautiful shadow. So even if you don't have the studio space to create professional looking photo shoots for your products, you can do it with a few simple edits. Now, another really amazing use case is stick figure animation. So you can just draw a stick figure, like I have drawn this, and then I upload it to character images. I asked it to replace the characters and position them in the way that my stick figures were positioned. And this is what it created. It's a highly accurate image and it's true to the type of stick figures I built. Then I did the same thing with these characters as well. Now. If you want to blend images, you can also do that on Nano Banana. So I had all of these different celebrities and I asked it to place them on a dinner table and it has placed them. Then I asked it to change the PJs of everyone and then I asked it to create a photo of Henry Cavill and Hailey Bailey smiling on a sofa together. I did not name the celebrities, I just used reference photos and it placed them accurately. Now one thing to note is that it does not create violent images, so if you're trying to build violent images, it will not allow you to do so. But it can create all other types of images as long as they are within the boundaries of their terms and conditions. So just like so, you can get started with using Nano Banana completely for free and you're able to create these super beautiful images, change perspectives, and use it for many other purposes. Now if you're using it directly on Nano Banana AI, you're going to go into pricing and you can either purchase a subscription or a credit pack. And this does come with some additional features that are going to help you in image editing. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video